Hello, I'm Julian with Realtek Controls and I'm going to show you the programming of the PR Electronics Universal Signal Conditioner Model 4116. At the moment you can see the display of 65.7 degrees F and giving you an output of 12.08 milliamps. I'm going to show you the general programming of this. That's the advanced menu programming, which I will show you in another video. So we're just going to select no to bypass that. And you can see the instructions on the screen scroll at the bottom. So basically, if you're familiar with programming transmitters, you don't really need instruction manuals for this unit. The input type, as it's a universal signal conditioner, you have multiple inputs that can be used. Temperature, potentiometer, linear resistance current and this also provides a loop power to an external transducer or transmitter if need be or voltage so we have a thermocouple connected which is a temperature element so the input type will be temperature as you can see you can select between thermocouple nickel sensors pt100 rtds or copper sensors so we have a thermocouple it's a type t and you can also see you can scroll through all the different varieties of thermocouples that can be used with this unit. Ours is a type T. Internal cold junction compensation. Degrees F or degree C. We're going to select degrees F. Our relay function is at the moment set to set point. We also have off so the relay will not function power so the relay will function when power is applied to the unit or error if there is a signal break the unit will activate the relay if there is something wrong with the signal or a window function which keeps it open or closed between two values this is useful for a tank fill or a tank empty operation for basic control we will leave it as set point normally open you can select between normally open or normally closed we will set the set point to 70 which is 70 degrees f active on increment or active on decrement this means that the relay will activate from a low value to a high value if you have active on decrement the relay will activate from a high value to a low value if you're using reverse logic but generally we, uh, we keep it on increment a dead band or hysteresis we can set that to one error action if this is a fail safe uh, you can program various modes open so if there's a signal error the relay will open the relay will close it will hold at its current position or no action so we'll say if there's an error with the input signal the relay will open on delay this means that the signal has to be above 70 for a certain amount of seconds before it activates the same with off delay if the relay is on the signal has to be off for a certain amount of seconds before it actually activates off you can leave that as zero seconds this is relay two this unit has two relays we'll just run through this quickly it's similar to to the relay one function we can set it for normally open 75 we can actually make that say 76 very easy to program active on increment dead band of one error action we'll choose none on delay off delay and basically this is giving you our output now the current output or a voltage output we can leave it on current also one other trick if you want to go back you just hold the OK button and you'll see it scrolls back through the other settings which is very useful you don't have to do this all over again if you want to go back and change a, uh, a value so we'll choose current output you can choose between 4 to 20 milliamps s4 to 20 means sill safety integration level if you're doing that 20 to 0 or 20 to 4 if you have reverse acting milliamp outputs that you want to control a reverse acting valve for example or sill 20 to 4 milliamps we'll leave it on 4 to 20 milliamps 
and the output error. This is Namur output ratings. So if you have a error in your input signal, do you want your milliamps to go high, 23, no action, or below 4 milliamps, so 3.5 milliamps. We'll just leave it there for now. Output low, this is your scaling. So I've got the set from 0 to 130 is equal to my 4 to 20 milliamps out. So when my temperature is 0, I'll be getting 4 milliamps. When my temperature is 130, I'll be getting my 20 milliamp signal. And this is completely linear throughout the range. And you can scale this to whatever you want. When you see weight, now the unit is programmed and you can see that it is just above the halfway point, which is 65, so you'll be getting 12.3 milliamps. That is the basic programming of this device, the PR Electronics Universal Signal Conditioner Model 4116. For more information, uh, visit realtechcontrols.com. Thank you for watching.